Hello Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name once again is Bert and today we are going to be talking about the 3D environments, building out some 3D structures and just some of the basic functions that you can use in Architect to create like an old school PS1 looking game. Uh, Alright, so first thing you want to do well, I did a couple things off screen just to speed up this process, but I'm going to show you what those things are right now. As always, we can go to database with the tools menu, or you can just press F8. Come down to video configuration, make sure 3D is enabled. Even if you started your project in 2D, you can flip it on and off right here. So we have 3D enabled. I've also set up two virtual keys to rotate my camera. I'm gonna do a short video explaining what I did here. I'll probably film that after this one, but the, just mentioning that I have those, I had to put those functions into myself. And you know, I'll show you why in a second. But that's all I've done in the, the database. Really, that's most of what we're gonna do in the database today. Um, oh, I'm wrong actually. There's one more thing I wanted to say. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I did. I am currently in the orthographic projection. You can be in perspective or orthographic, whichever one. I set it to that. Uh, and I set over here in the map properties, I set my yaw, which is kind of like the um, angle of the camera. I set it to 300. Um, that gives it like that kind of downward, um, like breath of fire three kind of look. Um, but anyway, those are the things I did there. I also went back on this initial map and I kind of cleaned up the layers because when I first did all this mess, I just did it all on my base layer, but I have since gone and added the houses to the house layer. I have a grass and sand layer and I have at the very bottom this water. So we haven't touched on layers yet, but as you can see, as I kind of just explained, you can set up different layers for different chunks of your mapping. So, and you want to build from the bottom up, really, or at least plan it like that. Like plan to have, you know, some layers on the bottom. Um, you don't have to, it's just, I just kind of recommend it. But I mean, you could technically build everything on one base layer, but then you're, you're like missing out on one of the really cool features and functions of the software. So might as well make it easier on yourself by just setting up a couple layers and then just having all your, you know, your land on one layer, all your water on another, your house on another, and that way you can really uh, stay organized. So with the layers, you, you can see next to them, they all have height. These are all set to height zero right now, but height comes into play with the 3D stuff and I'll, I'll show you what we can do with that, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave them at zero. Uh, for those of you who have tuned in through the whole series, you might be saying, well, these are new structures. Yeah, they are. I just, I threw them in just um, ahead of time, but uh, you know, no big deal. Hang on one second, somebody's weed whacking outside my window. Alright, sorry about that. So without doing much of anything, we've really, uh, all we've done is enable 3D mode. Uh, and with that, like we can just check out, I'm going to play my sample project and we can see we've already got 3D box structures, right? And these these houses, these really these boxes, they're too uh, too high. Their, their wall height is set to two. Uh, if you remember back in the tile set video, all the way back then, so long ago, uh, to go to Gregory, all oh, Gregory, terraform. No, no structure. Excuse me. In structure tiles you can see there's unit height we have our wall height set to two so by default these structures are all set to too high and that does correspond with these heights over here but um, what we can do is over here in our tile set window you know, we have our standard tile buttons we showed before but we also have these modifiers and the second one here 
brings up all these colorful little numbers and what these numbers do you may have guessed is these adjust the height of whatever structure you're on um, so by default these buildings are set to two if we set one to one oh and you have to and we select our houses layer we select one turn my eraser tool off because I don't need that and we just drag a line across here so now this chunk is gonna be one high and then this will all be too high so let's just see what that looks like looks like that okay not very fancy but I'm just showing you uh, we're just going through the basics right okay so that's how you do that um, so you can get a little fancier with it if you go around here border now you have a perimeter of one high and then you got these two high right here okay let's look at that okay we're getting somewhere oh and then let me show you my fancy rotate camera button so you can see it is too high in the center pretty cool pretty easy I mean that this stuff is really pretty basic you set the height I mean you can I mean look it goes you can get pretty high so yeah I mean that's how you set different heights of these uh, boxes really that's what they are they're just boxes very fancy um, so you want a tower over here and you want this one to be uh, kind of like I did before just do that some layers to it and actually I'm gonna change since these are all the same building I'm just gonna change uh, change this one to that just so it, you know a little more distinguishable look at that we got our tower we got the different layers happening there all right but that's not all wait there's more so that is how you set the basic height structures of some uh, of some structures. Now these these height adjustments they do work. Like you have to be on the layer where things are drawn. So if I wanted this grass up higher, I have to be on my grass layer. Or let's say the sand. I want the sand right here higher for whatever reason. I need to be on that sand layer. Now if I go to this and I play it you'll see it's just a floating flat plane this is because oh and I can walk on water Woo! Uh, this is because this structure was not like a structural this structure this tile was not a structural uh, tile it was terraforming but it wasn't structural so there was no it's just gonna take it and throw it up in the the air like that, right? Um, which is pretty cool. And you can see the reason there's water underneath me is because I showed, like I showed you, that full um, the water layer. I mean, it's it's all water underneath there, so it's just taking this little chunk and it's throwing it four high in the air. So just to the right of these colorful modifiers, these are our number blocks. Let's zoom out a little bit. We have shape modifiers. And what we have here is ramps. We have interior corners. We have edges. And we have stairs. So what you can do with these, you can really start kind of shaping things a little crazier. I have a couple things down here. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, in fact, I'm just gonna do that. Let's just so let me zoom in and show you right here I have Interior edges the way I have this one set up. It's not exactly the proper way to do it But it creates a cool effect. So that's why I left it here. I'm gonna show you anyway This one's functioning the way I wanted it to this what these edges like it's hard to see But this is the interior ones. So the ones on the left. These are the edge ones so the ones on the right the edge functions cut off these corners so what you're gonna see is like I said the cut the corners cut off it's gonna be more diamond shape this one the way I have it set up here it's gonna well let's just look at it let me just show you rather than look over here walk over here ba, 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 ba. so look at that we got our corners cut off from that one and over here we have 
a, like a funnel upside down pyramid happening again that's not exactly the way I, you would probably want to use it but it looked pretty cool so I wanted to show you that that's what happens with that one when handled incorrectly right so let me show you what it looks like when you handle it correctly now some of you may be uh, astute very observant and seeing that I have another layer up here that I'm not showing remember you click these eyeballs to hide and show layers this one this mountain layer add some stuff up here and here so let's zoom into this this lower section first as with the uh, the height modifiers the shape modifiers you click on those and you need to be on the layer that has the uh, the info on it right so with this little mountain chunk we have ramps these top ramps going east down here we have two of them going north we have a couple of uh, northeast ramps in the corners here and we have a northeast interior and so this is going to create like a sloping effect right here right so let's take a look at that and you can see that's how you're supposed to do it not my crazy upside down pyramid but it's kind of like an interior slope there. Get out the way. See what I mean? Pretty neat. Pretty simple. And now let's take a look over here at our other area that I've been hiding from you. Here we have a big mountain range. Let me show you the heights first. So I set up, you know, I set up the region, I was drew, drew in like this, I set up my heights, so I got these. this chunk here is at a height of 1, all of this chunk is at a height of 2, which is its default, but I just I drew it in there just to show you. Uh, we have a strip right here, it's a height of 3, we got some 4s, and at the very peak is 5. We jump over to the shape modifier, oh and there's more happening here. So first easiest is we got the edges and these corners right so it's gonna cut off these little corners here and just kind of uh, I want to say round but it's not super round you, you know what I'm saying it just cuts the corner there right we have we have ramps coming up here from the grass but what I had to do I'm gonna hide my water I'm gonna hide my grass layer on my mountain layer I have another uh, little chunk of grass because like I was saying you need your um, your modifiers on the layers of your tiles right makes sense so I just wanted to show you that it was my my little workaround of my brain not working really there's probably a more effective way of me doing this but that's neither here nor there I digress so anyway we have ramps on this, I'm just, I'm just gonna turn this off again. We have ramps coming up from this grass. There's got one coming this way, this way. We've got these going north. Basically it's gonna create like a little slope here, right? Let me jump back over to my height. So it goes up to this one layer. Then we have stairs right here. I just, just to create like a rocky ledge, right? There's gonna be stairs there. Then this area is like two. Right, and I didn't do any more stairs upwards. Um, oh, I'm wrong. Well, you can't get up there, but um, just to create a for a visual effect, there's a, a row of stairs there along the fours, right? Okay, so I mean, you get it, you get what I'm saying. Just did that to uh, create a cool little mountain range. Let's set my uh, starting position here, right layer. And we'll start it. And look at that. So we got the the grassy knoll. <laughs> Never thought I'd see that one come back. We got the grassy hill going up to the mountain range. We got a little step right here. It's kind of a halfway between the two, right? And you can just your character walks up it, no problem. Over here we have the quote unquote rounded edges. We have the layer three that I can't get up to. I'm gonna use my mouse. Then we have the stairs right there. This was layer four. 
and then the stairs on top of that to layer five, right? And then you see over here we got another rounded edge and another rounded edge up there. Just like we uh, mapped out. Let me rotate around. Pretty neat, right? I, I think it's really cool. When I, when I first saw the 3D capabilities of Architect, that was one of the things that really sold me personally, just because I can see the potential for those old school, like PlayStation 1, N64 era 3D models, which I love. That's my generation, it's my era. Um, now, one other thing I wanna go over, and I'm gonna jump to another map. I'm gonna jump to a slightly fancier map that I did. Not super fancy, don't get your hopes up. I didn't, I didn't go crazy, but um, I'm gonna go over here. This Castle Peninsula one I made. Zoom out a little bit. I made this structure. Get off the, uh, yeah. Now with this one, you'll see I've got my layers. I got water, I've got low ground, both height of zero. I have my base, height of zero. I've got houses over here. Don't worry about that. That was just a, uh, I was thinking of, eh, eh, don't worry about that, whatever. I have my castle layer. Castle layer's height is five. Why is that? So this grass area, this is all on my base layer, right? And on this base layer, I've set the height to five. And so I want I want the castle to start building at a height of five. Otherwise, if I had set this to zero and my base grass layer is um, set to five, then the castle would be like sunken down into the terrain, right? Now, not only that, I set my, my base layer height, that's for the, the, uh, the terrain, but my castle is not actually on this layer. So if I click on my castle layer, you'll see Okay, there's still some fives happening. Well, these are height of five on top of the grass five, right? So these are actually essentially 10 high from the water. Does that make sense? They're 10 high uh, from height zero. Hopefully I said that correctly. So you got height five, you got height four, five, four. You know, I kinda, you, you can go back and forth like this. These are some height six here to make it look fancy. What's going on right here? Well, this is the castle gate. And again, I've got this one set to height seven because its default height is two. It's just, it's a, it's like one of these. It's just a house structure. I think it's this one that I used. The default height of it is two, but I wanted it to be, to look like an open gate, right? Um, all right, so let's take a look at what it actually looks like and then I'll probably explain it better. So here we are with the castle. I'm zoomed out kind of far just so you can see uh, goodly. We have the castle walls. It was like six, five, six, five. Pan around so you can see that fancified area there. This gate, I wanted it to have two spaces of openness below it and it's it's automatically too high so all I had to do over here was set it to gate height or, or castle gate height 7 which lifts it too high off the base ground here and I didn't have to do any kind of a um, height modifier at all on it I just left it the default so it's automatically too high that makes sense I don't know I'm gonna eat a cookie For modifier or shape modifiers, I just did a couple little things so you can see real quick. Um, kind of like I showed on the other one. We got ramps, we got uh, edges cut out. And you see over here, we got like a nice little ramp leading down. See how you can kind of like really shape the terrain a bit. Um, got stairs right here. I did a little ramp here, and then I did another little sand dune, kind of like I showed on the last one, last map. You can do just little bumps in the ground like this. Just a little, just a little hump in the ground, no biggie. 
some weird, uh, I did these with steps, you know, this is at the, the height of two or whatever, I can crawl up these because they're steps again, but you can, if it's something out of the uh, reach of the player, then you can use it to really shape things. Lots of options here, lots of, lots of things you can do. You can do like a little sloped roof like that. Pretty neat, right? I like it. You like it. I love it. You love it. We love it. I think that's going to do it for this 3D structure intro. There's more to like with the sky layers and stuff, but I mean, this is just to get you off and running. Um, let me go back to my opening town here. You got your layers. You can set your layer height. Did I even mention that? Over here, you can set your different height or your layer heights. Um, you click the little cog next to the layer itself. Oh, and you want to see what happens when... See, I've got everything on this map at height zero. What happens if we set it to... This is the houses. Let's set our houses up to height three. I'll just show you what happens. Now look at that. All those house tiles are just flying up. They're starting to render on height level three. So you can do some cool stuff with that. Sometimes it's good to just make mistakes just so you can see what it does. I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join our mailing list, join the Discord so you can talk directly with myself or Locke, the developer, or any of the other guys who are helping to work out to, to work on this project. Help us grow the community, help us grow the software, the program, help, you know, if there's things that you like about the workflow, let us know. If there's things you don't like, let us know. Uh, Locke is very open um, to uh, user feedback. And so, you know, if it's something that's uh, feasible or something that's just been overlooked, I mean, oh, we'd love to hear it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of today's tutorial. Let me know if you're planning to do a 3D or 2D game. Uh, I know a lot of people like to do the 2D old school uh, Super Nintendo style RPGs, but I'd one thing I really want to see out of the community and this engine is some 3D games, man. I love like some PlayStation 1 and 64 style with 3D structures and 2D sprites. Love it. So good. Looks great. Has aged very well. Thank you again so much for watching. I have been Bert. You have been amazing. Enjoy your time with RPG Architect and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Master Ogre!